The city of New Bern is celebrating the completion of a new sidewalk outside H.J. McDonald Middle School, a joint effort by the city of New Bern, the North Carolina Department of Transportation, and Craven County Schools. Thanks for coming to our ribbon cutting for the Safe Routes to School Sidewalk Program. Uh, it takes uh, a lot of community leadership to make these kind of projects work, so we appreciate all of you being here. Sidewalks are a real attribute to community. They encourage community to happen. I'm going to introduce uh, from the Department of Transportation our district engineer, Reed Smith, if he'll come up to talk a little bit about Safe Routes to School. Thank you all for coming. My name is Reed Smith. I'm the district engineer with the North Carolina Department of Transportation. Starting in 2005, uh, each DOT in each state was provided funding for Safe Routes to School. We're taking that with the, with the federal dollars and make sure it gets to spread out amongst the state to the different projects. And it's working with getting buy-in and work from the local municipalities um, to do a lot of the, most all of the preliminary engineering work and getting permits and design work and a lot of work from the city. Thank you, Reed. I, I love to look for win-win. In this case, it's win-win-win. So we'll keep doing the legwork if you keep writing the checks. <laughs> This particular project uh, uh, consisted of around $99,900 of funding uh, for this particular phase. It was, as, as we've already discussed, 100% funded through DOT. And, uh, and it, it covers basically Elizabeth Avenue from uh, Glen Burnie Road all the way up to the racetrack. Uh, it also goes into uh, Liz, uh, York Street, Concord Street, and Colonial Way. And basically, this, this sidewalk uh, consists of five-foot sidewalk with uh, handicap accessibility, so that that's, that uh, we provide accessibility for all people who wish to uh, use the sidewalk. And, and ultimately, it provides that safety for students and pedestrians and keeps them out of the roadway. So it provides another safe route for kids to be able to walk to their school destination in the mornings and the afternoons. And that's all I have. And I'll turn it back over to Mr. Epson. Thank you, Mark. You never realized how much work went into sidewalks. Uh, it is a lot of work. Uh, really happy to have with us today Superintendent of Schools, Wayne Mills. Our vision statement for our school system is today's learners, tomorrow's leaders. And the first thing about achieving that vision is getting our students to school safely. And so whether it's by bus or by car or by walking, we have to have these things in place for our students to get there to learn. So we're very excited about this project. We're very excited about the cooperation and relationship we're building to do this. And we appreciate all of your support. So on behalf of all the students and staff, our board, and all the families, and as a parent again, thank you for all you do to help us make this a part of our safety process for our school. We're very appreciative. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mills. Uh, lots of people did a lot of work to, to make this project happen, but probably, um, the person who deserves the most credit, put forth the most effort, is uh, Ward 4 Alderman Johnny Ray Kennedy. Uh, when I first went into office, I found out about, I said, well, what can I bring to the table that's going to be different during my term? Uh, I, I actually I met this guy called Hugh Overhaul. I said, I understand that you're the rep for the uh, North Carolina Department of Transportation. I says, uh, do you have any free money that I can get today? I says, uh, I don't want no matching funds because the first thing that I'm going to hear from the folks is, how much money is going to cost us? I says, I don't want to hear that. He says, I heard about you already. You're very persistent. They found the money, so we're in phase two. And I'd like to also introduce the Mayor Pro Tem, Ms. Sabrina Bingham. She's going to give us some remarks from the city of New Bern. Thank you. I'm here to wrap everything up and bring you the course readings on behalf of the city. And uh, the two words that came to me while I was sitting here are leadership and partnership. And it took leaders in each of the different partnerships that we formed, the leadership of the school, the leadership of the city, the leadership of the aldermen. We each had a role to play in making this happen. And by all of us stepping up, we formed this partnership and we made something happen. So that's what this great city relies on. I want to see more of it, more leadership and partnership, and we can make anything happen. So I thank you all for being here today.
The completion of this Safe Route to School program will prove to be a positive asset to the community. We're very excited about the sidewalk project and its completion for the safety and security of our students. Uh, obviously, we worry about our kids getting to school each day, whether it's by bus or car or walking. And before we be, they can become learners, they have to get to school safely. So this reflects a lot of uh, participation and cooperation and relationships between the city and our school system. I think it was a great idea and it helps other students around me get to school safer. Other people in the community can use it to exercise or ride their bikes. And it just helps students get to school and not dread walking in the mud or anything else. Before, when the students had to walk to school, um, many of them would end up walking in traffic mud on the end of the road. And on any given day, between 30 and 50 students that do walk to school, and it is um, just a godsend to have uh, this available to them to uh, ensure a safe route uh, on their way to school. Uh, we are just pleased with the partnerships that have uh, occurred to make this happen. I think it's better than walking in grass because some days you can have on like sandals or something and like you can get your feet really dirty or if it's raining you can get like really muddy and it's better to have a sidewalk than to walk in the middle of the road. In any major city you see sidewalks. Here we didn't have any sidewalks to attract anyone. The sidewalks now are used just like the highway is. People are walking there. People are getting more exercise. The kids are safer to walk to school without walking in the street than walking on the sidewalk. So it's a very positive uh, uh, thing here for the kids to use each and every day. 